The 501st were undoubtedly one of the most well-known and skilled legions to ever fight in the Clone Wars. Although there were other corps and battalions that could rival the durability of the 501st, such as the 212th and 21st Corps, neither of them could rival the 501st when it came to sheer morale in battle. Through thick and thin, the 501st were one of the only legions able to creatively devise plans to win battles, and always thought outside of the box, which was partly due to their unique leaders Anakin and Rex. In addition to their ingenuity on the battlefield, they also had a very high resolve and entrusted all their faith into their commander to make the right decision whilst in the midst of battle, which led to many astounding victories throughout the war. In saying this, battles rarely went to plan and there were times when the 501st barely hung on with their fingertips. In this video, we'll be counting down three battles the 501st won that just shouldn't have been possible. Keep in mind, we'll be using Legends material for this video. When the 501st were blessed with the narcissistic frog of a general who had little regard for any life on the battlefield, they knew the battle had just become a whole lot harder. In addition to fighting on a planet nearly 10 times worse than Felucia, they weren't simply fighting predictable battle droids, they were fighting a humanoid species with advanced technology that had the ability to completely obliterate large chunks of the 501st infantry. Regardless of all these factors working against them, including Ponkrell's treachery and the near execution of Jesse and Fives, the 501st was still able to miraculously push through and capture the Vital Umbaran airbase. Against all odds, the 501st had managed to sever the supply routes into Umbara's capital, severely weakening the city and allowing the 212th to capture all sectors with relative ease, marking the end of the battle for the hellhole known as Umbara. When the Separatists' invasion of Kashyyyk caught the Republic flat-footed, a detachment of the 501st was sent in to stop the bleeding until reinforcements could arrive was a textbook suicide mission and we knew it. As we fought our way into Kashyyyk's atmosphere, most of us believed that the only way we'd be getting off this planet was in a body bag. The 501st had already expected the Battle of Kashyyyk to be a near suicidal mission, the droids outnumbering the clones 5 to 1. To make matters worse, when they jumped out of hyperspace, they were greeted with a large confederate blockade, halting any immediate landing on the planet. At this, the 501st were forced to scramble all pilots in order to try and punch a hole into the blockade. After many casualties, the 501st were successful and were able to land on the planet's surface. They were then tasked with holding the planet until reinforcements arrived and were quickly overrun and the surviving troops forced to retreat into the Wookiee stronghold. The 501st were ordered to hold the stronghold at all costs in an attempt to save the oil refinery. The battle was quickly turning into a massacre. This was until Master Yoda arrived, and through his ingenious leadership and prowess on the battlefield, the 501st were able to hang on to dear life, eventually forcing the Separatists into a full retreat. For this point, we're going to put aside the ethics of the brutal attack on the Jedi Temple and we'll be looking at this from a tactical standpoint. From a strictly strategic perspective, the 501st, whilst not outnumbered, were facing an estimated 2,000 to 5,000 of the most powerful force beings in the galaxy, all congregated in one place. In addition to being ordered to do an already almost impossible task, they were faced with even more resistance when the Jedi Temple security force refused to back down and stayed loyal to the Jedi. Much of what happened within the temple is unknown. We know the 501st took heavy casualties, especially when facing Jedi Masters. However, due to their elite training and skill, the 501st were able to overrun all hostile forces, ultimately bringing the Jedi Order to its knees. Whether this was a good or bad thing is completely up to you. 